So if you want to record data, uh, here we are at the home screen of the Solix. Uh, you'll simply go into the record menu from the home screen by tapping that record icon. You'll then um, see two SD cards display. Uh, you'll click the record sonar menu in the top left. Um, and here another drop down will open up. Uh, you want to look at your recording sources and confirm that they are what you think they are. Um, here you can see that we have 2D down imaging and side imaging selected um, and we're also saving to SD card 2. You can configure to save to either SD card slot. To start your actual recording simply click start recording. Um, your single beam 2D sonar will appear. Um, click the home button. Um, you can then go into your views tab. We prefer to use a chart and side imaging hybrid view for our surveys. Um, you can confirm that you're recording side scan data with the red dot that is flashing in the upper left corner. Um, additionally, when surveying for crab pots, we prefer to survey at 455 kilohertz. So um, to configure your sonar frequency, click on the side scan pane of your display. Um, click into your side imaging menu. Scroll down until you see side imaging frequency select. And you can then select 455 kilohertz. An additional method of changing your frequency is to select this shortcut in the upper left corner. That also brings up a drop down for you to adjust your frequencies. When you're ready to finish recording, go back into the recording menu. Select stop recording. And you will see your new recording appear in the recording menu. If you would like to visualize your recorded data, you can play the data back on the Solix display itself. Um, in order to start playing your data back, just select the start function. In the same way that it did when you began your recording, it'll start at the 2D sonar interface. You can go back to the home screen select the desired view and you will see your recorded data in the side scan pane. Alrighty, so once you've recorded some side scan data and you'd like to play it back and visualize it on your Solix unit, you can go back into the recording menu and select a file that you'd like to play back. Um, and simply select start. Just like when you started recording, the Solix will go back to the 2D sonar view. Uh, go back to your home screen and uh, navigate to the desired view. Um, and you'll be able to see the side scan waterfall playing back and the progress of the boat on the chart as well. To control the playback of the sonar, you can click into the side imaging menu at the top left of the Solix. Uh, enter into the sonar playback menu. And you can control the playback from here. Uh, you can pause it. Stop playback completely and start playback of the file as well from the very beginning. Um, you can also fast forward the data, although this will uh, cause it to smudge a bit in the playback. As you can see, the data quality decreases a bit and pixelates as you speed up playback. If you see targets while you're playing back your data or while you're recording data in your side scan waterfall, you can select with your finger, tap and hold on the target in question, and you can create a waypoint on that target. 
I'll exit out of my playback control now and hold my finger on this suspected target. Um, we can then select the waypoint option and create a waypoint. Um, you can select the icon type that you'd like and exit out of that menu and the waypoint will appear now on your chart view. Now that you've made some waypoints in your side scan data, you can export those waypoints to your SD card by utilizing the files menu. To find the files menu, go to your home screen and click on all tools at the bottom center of the screen. Um, on our particular device, files is in the bottom left corner. We enter this menu. Um, you'll see several options on the left side of the screen. Um, you can export your waypoints by selecting export nav data at the left and you can select a location on either of your SD cards. It'll export the data and then you'll receive a confirmation, confirmation message. If you have waypoints on an SD card and you'd like to upload them, navigate to the files menu. You can do this by selecting all tools at the bottom center and selecting files. Once you're in files, you can select import nav data. You can import from either of your SD cards. We'll import from SD card one. Select the desired file to import. The Solix will begin importing them and you'll receive a confirmation message that the waypoints have been uploaded. We can see 116 were in this case. You then can navigate to your chart to verify that your waypoints have been uploaded, which in our case they have. While you're surveying, if you'd like to view your waterfall coverage in real time behind the vessel on the chart, you can utilize AutoChart Live. To do so, enter the chart menu in the top left corner and go into the Auto Chart Live menu. In order to make the mosaic display on the screen live, ensure that the box in the top right corner of the Auto Chart Live uh, option is selected. Additionally, scroll to the bottom of this menu and enter the Mosaic Live menu. Do the same thing and make sure to check the top right box in the mosaic um, option. If you'd like to record the auto chart data as well as your um, raw waterfall data, you can select the record option at the top of the mosaic live and the auto chart live menus. Once both the auto chart live and mosaic live options are selected, you should begin to see a waterfall form behind the vessel on the chart at the top of the screen. Here we have some lines displayed from a previous crab pot survey. We used auto chart to do the line spacing for this survey that you see on the chart at the top of the screen. By lining up the edges of the auto chart mosaic live display we are able to achieve efficient side scan coverage of the desired survey area. If you would like to change the appearance of your sonar data, you make sure that your sonar window is the active pane and enter the side imaging menu at the top left. And once you're in this menu, you can alter the sensitivity and contrast of your data which will alter the appearance in real time. This doesn't at all affect the recorded data and all Humminbird data is recorded at maximum range with no gain corrections applied for post-processing. So any adjustments that you make while you're recording will not be reflected in that recording, which is important to know so that you can have freedom to do what you please as you're recording your data.